Okay, so I've chopped up my asparagus, um, and I've also chopped, finely chopped, about a half of a small onion, and then I have a clove of garlic. I've also uh, finely minced my garlic, and you can just use a knife like this and hold it. So we've heated up a frying pan here, and we're just gonna pour a little bit of olive oil in to kind of get our onions and garlic to release all of their flavors. I think the smell of onions and garlic Oh my goodness, that's hot. Okay, so now we're gonna add our asparagus. Our onions have started to get a bit transparent or translucent, and we're just gonna push our asparagus. And then we're gonna remove this from the heat. So while that's cooking, because I don't like to waste time in the kitchen, I'm going to crack some eggs. Into and then I'm just gonna use a whisk to basically just whisk them together. So our asparagus, it smells so nice. It's got this fresh, you can almost smell the color green when you're sauteing it. Go for a few more minutes, and I'll tell you about the other things we're gonna add. These are panko crumb crumbs. You can use any kind of bread crumbs. And then the only other thing we're gonna add is a bit of grated Parmesan cheese um, and some salt and pepper One to flavor. One way that I test whether the asparagus is just getting tender, I kind of push my wooden spoon down onto a piece, and if I can break it apart with just a little bit of pressure, it's probably ready to come off. Okay, so we've allowed that to sit for a few minutes. It doesn't really have to be completely cooled. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna add everything to our egg mixture, mix it all together, and pour it into this pie dish that I've greased with some butter, and then we're gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes to bake. So let's do that now. Okay, I'm going to start by putting my asparagus in here, and then we're going to add our panko crumbs, our parmesan cheese, and then we're just going to basically mix this together. Into our dish. There we go. 